just I'm going to say something about Turning Point. How many young voters did they register? How many youth voters turned out this cycle? And this is a group that's taken over the youth vote. They've taken over college campuses, and they need to be held accountable. But this is Turning Point and Harmeet trying to take over the RNC. And they need to be held accountable. And they need to be held accountable. You. Civil war, baby, for the soul and the future of the Republican Party. Remember, Avengers Civil War, Iron Man versus Captain America. Yo, we are having that situation right now. The teams are lining up, running at each other in an airport, punching it out, duking it out. Weaponized nuclear attack on Romney McDaniel by Charlie Kirk, the Charlie Kirk, defending Turning Point USA and Turning Point USA's activism. Bad idea coming at the king you best not miss. Ronna McDaniel shooting off her mouth. She spent too much time inside of the bubble in Washington, D.C. Here's the setup, baby. Ronna McDaniel sucks at her job, and people know it. They are saying, yo, we no longer want you as RNC chair. This is a poll from Turning Point USA this weekend saying that a vast plurality of people want Harmeet Dillon. Harmeet Dillon is challenging Ronna McDaniel, and we'll have an important update from her campaign in just a second. But what is the beef? What's the drama? here. Well, this poll was released. Ronna McDaniel didn't like it very much. Conservative group disses McDaniel in race for RNC chair. A straw poll of attendees at one of the nation's largest gathering of conservative activists, the largest gathering of conservative activists, showed overwhelming opposition to Ronna McDaniel, continuing the chair of uh, the Republican National Committee. She's served like three or four terms already. Way too long. Turning Point USA's America Fest comes as McDaniel faces a challenge. Uh, to her re-election for the fourth term as chair, and a swarm of conservative media commentators have publicly called for her ouster, including some of our favorites like Mark Levin, Reagan's biographer, and so on and so forth. Conference organizers made the straw poll results public on Tuesday. Tucker Carlson, of course, already calling for Ron McDaniel's ouster as RNC chairwoman. She sucks at this job, and she's a known loser, by the way. You should just be for meritocracy as Republicans. Nothing personal. Don't have anything personally against her, I suppose. But I don't like Romneys, naturally. And also, I like people who win. Ronna McDaniel doesn't win. Since she's become chairwoman of the RNC since 2017, she has lost every single election. Every single one of them. Lost every single one of them. Harmeet Dillon, who was promoted extensively at the four-day youth gathering, won the straw poll. 58% of the support, Dillon... California's RNC committee person and conservative election law attorney is McDaniel's top opponent in the leadership election set for January 21st. Why do people dislike Ronna McDaniel? Because we dislike losing. Ronna McDaniel is facing multiple scandals on multiple fronts, including, but not limited to, sucking at her job and losing, essentially, an election that should have been a massive red wave for Republicans. It's her job to ensure that it happens. And this is what she had to say when Republicans essentially won a razor toothpick thin margin in the House. Watch her gloat. And everybody forgets that. But Republican governors were overwhelmingly reelected last night because of what they did in the pandemic, because we did have a message. We kept our schools open. We kept our economies humming. And from Florida to Ohio to Iowa, across the board, we didn't lose a single Republican governorship. And the wave did happen because we are waving goodbye to Speaker Nancy Pelosi. That was just the second dumbest thing that Ronna McDaniel said in the last couple of weeks after totally falling flat on her face, losing once again in the most winnable election for Republicans in my lifetime, 2022. We barely, barely squeaked by with, again, a very cheap, razor's thin majority in the House. The first dumbest thing that Ron McDaniel has said in the last couple of weeks has been to come at Turning Point USA. This is not a smart idea, lady. She had this to say on Fox News Radio. How many voters has Turning Point registered? How many people have they turned out for the youth vote? Ron McDaniel says here before paying for an enormous amount of plastic surgery, uh, presumably with RNC donor money. We know that she's paid for uh, millions of dollars worth of flowers and private jets and limousines and 
uh, 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 Lululemon, whatever. Why, why would you buy so much Lululemon? She's, they, they spent like hundreds of thousands of dollars at Lululemon, which is a workout uh, gear, leftist workout gear company uh, for ladies and for people who clearly never work out. So w- w- where'd it go? Where'd it go, Rana? Trying to find out. Here's what Rana had to say about my boy Charlie and Turning Point USA. And in the Fox yeah, News, like Turning Point endorsed her. They had her out. I mean, oh, okay. this is not a Harmeet Dillon race. This is Turning Point and Harmeet Dillon. And I just am going to say something about Turning Point. You know, they do, do great conferences. How many young voters did they register? How many youth voters turned out this cycle? How about the college kids in Arizona where they're headquartered? You know, if you're going to hold the RNC accountable, start looking at these outside organizations that don't disclose their finances and ask them what they did. And this is a group that's taken over the youth vote. They've taken over college campuses, and they need to be held accountable. But this is Turning Point and Harmeet trying to take over the RNC. Okay, really smart idea to take the darling of the conservative movement, Turning Point USA, the only part of the conservative movement that is activating youth voters or has any energy behind it at all. I was just at America Fest, 10,000 plus people inside of a like music festival style venue, professional sports arena venue in Phoenix, Arizona, a state that's Kind of hard to get Republican enthusiasm out. I've spoken across the country at Turning Point Action events, registering voters, signing people up. I've personally done this. But Charlie Kirk went in over the top with a truth nuke carpet bomb attack on Ron McDaniel. Very rare for Charlie. Let's go ahead and show you what Charlie had to tweet in open warfare with the RNC. Here we are. Rana, thanks for asking, Charlie sent out to his 2 million Twitter followers. Turning Point logged more than 500,000 voter hours this election cycle. TP Action directly contacted and engaged 5 million voters. We hosted well over 100 major door-knocking events and rallies in targeted states and districts. Once again, I spoke at multiple rallies and events like that in Ohio, here in Florida, in New York. This was a real truly incredible machine that was being activated to help elections and to save elections and to swing elections. And we did that actually in Pinellas County with Anna Paulina Luna, who oh just ha- so happens to be a uh, Turning Point USA alumnist, now a uh, very promising Republican congresswoman who flipped a district. We also recruited 2,000 new precinct leaders with the project uh, with the project to be at 10,000 by the end of 2023, registered 10 of thousands of new voters, hosted Ron DeSantis rallies in six states, supporting more than a dozen governor, Senate, congressional candidates. We also reached tens of millions of listeners on podcast, radio, streaming on The Charlie Kirk Show, managed, messaged to Hispanic voters in South Florida, Phoenix, Tucson, supported Mike Lee and Andy Biggs against Romney-backed independence plants. (laughs) I see what you did there. All by spending only $500,000 via our few uh, and a few million via our 501c4 501c3 respectively how many hundreds of millions did the rnc spend instead of attacking the only youth organization in the country after doing something maybe you should be out and be thankful that we are doing actual work this is exactly why you should no longer be the chair this is why 90 percent of our attendees want you fired if i had 98 percent disapproval rating i would resign instead of attacking us you should be sending us seven hundred thousand dollars worth of flowers and thanking us ha 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 Ooh, very nice i see what charlie did there this is exactly what charlie did go ahead and check it out this is uh romney mcdaniel talking about mitt romney related candidates mitt romney uh the complete traitorous simp gimp in a dog walking ball gag costume being dog walked by Democrats is running independents who are actually Democrats against real Republicans in multiple Senate races. But the big one was Mike Lee in Utah. This is how big of a scumbag this family is. And by the way, what's the relation here? She's the daughter of Mitt Romney's brother. That's why she's Romney McDaniel. That's her name, Romney McDaniel. She's the daughter of Mitt Romney's brother, okay? Uh, Family has deep ties to politics, so on and so forth. McDaniel is Mitt Romney's brother's daughter, okay? So not for nepotism here, definitely not for Ronna McDaniel, and especially after we saw clips like this, which were really just repulsive to us. Ronna McDaniel uh, essentially apologizing 
for white men leading the RNC. Watch this old gem from CNN of all places. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, there, there is a there is a familiar theme here. I'm very happy to uh, add a feminine touch to this wall. Yeah, I'm very happy to add a feminine touch to this wall. Oh, I'm so happy. The Republican National Committee has a new face with a familiar name, Ronna Romney McDaniel. Your uncle ran for president, so did your grandpa. Yeah, and my mom ran for Senate, and my dad had run for attorney general. Yeah, and they all lost, every single one of them, because she's a family of losers. And now she needs to lose her chair race for RNC chairwoman for the fourth time in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, we must be for a meritocracy as Republicans. We must be against the family of losers, the Romneys, selling out our party in controlled decline. Check this out from MSNBC. Ronna McDaniel may have helped bury Trump with January 6th testimony. Ronna McDaniel, of course, claims to be Donald Trump's biggest defender. Not so much, according to reports. This is pretty shocking. Check this out. Participation. Ronna McDaniel chair of the Republican National Committee, testified before this committee that President Trump and his attorney, Dr. John Eastman, called her and asked her to arrange for the fake electors to meet and rehearse the process of casting their fake votes. Actually, he turned the call over to Mr. Eastman, who then proceeded to talk about the importance of the RNC helping the campaign gather these contingent electors. So, okay, so she's sitting there ratting to the January 6th committee, backstabbing Trump. This is why we support Harmy Dillon. Harmy Dillon isn't going to grovel to CNN and apologize for white men leading the RNC. Uh, Harmy Dillon isn't going to give millions or billions of dollars to of donor cash to her best friends and to her consultant class who are destroying the Republican Party. Harmy Dillon would call for Mitch McConnell to be out of leadership because he's not a Republican. He's a Democrat. And here's what Harmy Dillon had to say at America Fest on Tim Pool's show about her race and why she's running for RNC chairwoman. We encourage you to call your RNC committee man or woman and demand that they vote for Harmeet in order to save the Republican Party. It's like, I was, we were joking backstage, it's now sounding like the Illuminati, but the 168... <laughs> That's my love language, careful there. The 168 are three members of each of 50 states and six territories. And believe it or not, my state with 40 million people has the same amount of power at the RNC as American Samoa. They also have three and they have like 50,000 people there. But those 168 vote to elect the next chair of the RNC, treasurer, co-chair, and so forth. And so you got to get a majority of them. That's that's 85 to win. And so Rana started out with a, you know, big list. That list is smaller if we were being truthful. But people are being attacked. There was a story today that she, quote unquote, lassoed somebody from the herd who had flipped over to my side, got them back. This is the kind of humiliating language we see about this uh, election. Conservatives pounce. Conservatives pounce. Is it because the ones people at the 168 feel like they're going to lose like deals that they have? If they're they... going to lose. Like if I were if I were the new chair, I would change who's the chair of all the committees. Okay, I would stop the tchotchkes uh, at donor expense. I would stop the staff retreats at a thousand dollars a night. I think that's obscene. I would stop uh, a lot of the waste and excess there. I have pledged to move most, if not all, of the operations of the RNC out of D.C. Because D.C. is not America. I'm sorry for anybody who lives in D.C. No one and, and I want people who work at the RNC to live in America and be in touch with America because we represent America. And that's, so very, that's very threatening to consultants who live in America lobbyists who have the pipeline to the consultants, all of that. So that, they're very upset about that. Yeah, they are very upset about that. Uh, just a small little memento here personally from me, uh, a little anecdotal piece of evidence of what kind of an operation that Ronna McDaniel ran. I know one of the top fundraisers at the RNC. She works the RNC day and night. Right now, she works for Ronna McDaniel. She, this is a person who used to live in my neighborhood when I was in Washington, D.C. for 15 years. This person would regularly and openly deny ever being a Republican in order to be accepted in Washington, D.C. This is the kind of people who run your party. The RNC was staffed with never Trumpers, with people who were disgraced 
by the Republican Party and the brand. They gladly took your money. They spent it on lavish, extraordinary lifestyles for themselves, limousines and private jets and tchotchkes, mementos, knickknacks, everything to make sure that they were living large while they destroyed in controlled decline, controlled demolition, your Republican Party. It's time for a leadership change. Charlie Kirk dropping bombs on Ronna McDaniel. Absolutely BTFO. Way to go, Charlie. Vote Harmeet. Thank you for watching. Our channel is here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears taste like ice cream. We ridicule the establishment and we do so because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you liked what you saw, please click the thumbs up. Please punch, subscribe, and ring the bell to let you know when we have a new video. Don't you want us to let you know when we're live? Please check out more of our videos here and sign up for our mailing list in case something happens and the plug gets pulled. We want to be able to keep in touch with you. My name is Benny Johnson and thank you for watching Based Patriots Stay Free.